Hello and thanks for coming to check this out. This will be a very quick guide about how to make the long shadows on your titles without using a replicator in Motion 5. I've got two titles here for comparison. These ones have the replicator. These ones are just using the extrude filter instead. You can see that they both look pretty much the same. Let's have a look at how we do it with the replicator first and then we can have a look at the other method. Making a long shadow with a replicator in Motion 5 is really similar to what you might do with the Blend tool in Adobe Illustrator to kind of cheat a long shadow effect with a text or graphic. I learned to do this in Motion by watching Simon Upstall's tutorial and there's a link in the description. Definitely go and check that out if you want a lot of detail about how it's done. I'm pretty much just going to rush over what I learned there so that we can make a comparison later on. So I'm replicating the title there. I'm going to change it to a line and make it black or a very, very dark color. I'm turning on the source of the replicator and I'm moving it above the replicator in the group. Going to line up the replicator with its source and increase the points to 300 a lot so that they all blend in together. Then I'm going to adjust the angle. So we have our shadow. Now working in a project with titles like this in a project, this is useful to know. If I just reposition the source, the replicator won't follow. But if I apply a move behavior or if I keyframe the position, you can see the replicator will follow. So you can work with long shadows in your title projects with this replicator shadow quite easily. Okay then, so let's look at how we do it the other way. As I mentioned before, the other way to do it is by using an extrude filter. So I have these other titles here. I'll come to the filters menu, choose stylize, extrude. So right away we get this extrusion and this on-screen controller here is adjusting the angle and distance. Now I want to make the extrusion black. So I'll come here to the inspector and for extrude style I can change it to gradient and just make this stopper here black and there you go. Really quickly we have a long shadow effect which works really well for static images. If I move the source or keyframe it to move, the shadow will follow. But let's have a look at this clipping slider here to set up another animation. With the extrude style at gradient, the clipping slider, and I don't know exactly how it works at all, but I know the clipping slider will pull the shadow back and away from the source. So let's change the extrude style back to shading, and we'll use the brightness sliders to change the extrusion back to black. And now see what happens with the clipping slider. So it has a different influence. Let's keyframe this to make a nice animation. Okay, I'll just come into the keyframe editor and adjust that curve.
Right, so I quite like that, and I'm sure you can get something similar with a replicator as well, but I don't think it would be as easy. So there you go, there's the alternative method using the extrude filter. Uh, the last thing we'll have a look at is using it with images, graphics, instead of just titles. Okay, so I've imported this graphic that I did with Affinity Designer, just very simple with the clouds. If I turn off the filter, you can see it here. So I've applied the extrude filter and I've keyframed the same way that we did before with the title. So we have this nice animation in. Right, so I'm going to take things just one step further and I'm going to add a parameter behavior here on that clipping parameter. I'm going to add the overshoot behavior. I'll trim it to one second in the timeline. Now this overshoot behavior, it's going to kind of counteract the settings that we've given the clipping mask here. So the clipping mask is set to started minus 100, so if I set this overshoot with a starting value of 25, it's going to rain back the clipping value and ramp durations at 35. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, I really like that and of course it works with titles as well. Right, that's what I wanted to show you today. Thanks for checking it out. I hope it was useful for your future projects.